Back in the day, when the religion debate was in its heyday and people were still arguing with each other left and right over God and the nature of the universe, I used to love arguing with creationists. From around the time I became an atheist, right around 2009, during my uh, first years of high school, up until probably around 2011, I would argue nonstop about evolution, about the nature of the universe, about whether or not God existed. I used to love arguing with religious people on the internet about the science of evolution. Even though I didn't have all of the arguments and all of the necessary skills to properly refute what they are saying in the same way a scientist would, arguing with them cemented my beliefs and really gave me an appreciation for how to properly frame a debate and how to use rhetoric to win over your opponent. Or I should say it gave me good practice on that because I never quite won a debate with the creationists and the tactics I used with them I mainly applied in other debate situations. And that's why I don't argue with creationists anymore. Aside from the whole atheism religion debate dying down around 2011 or so, probably around the time Christopher Hitchens kicked the bucket, I simply grew exasperated. I simply got tired of arguing the same points over and over again with these people, and I felt like I was getting nowhere. So I decided to stop arguing with creationists about evolution and other scientific subjects such as the age of the earth and similar things. Now, let me try to explain why this is. It's not that I don't like debate. I do enjoy debate. I like hearing ideas being thrown around and I like having a constructive discussion. But I found that I couldn't have a constructive discussion with creationists. First of all, they're not intellectually honest. There's a very famous moment in the Ken Ham Bill Nye debate where Ken Ham and Bill Nye are both asked, what would change your mind? And Ken Ham, the creationist, says, nothing's ever going to change my mind. I'm a Christian, I'm a servant of the Lord, and that's how it's going to be. Paraphrasing there, but that's the general point. Bill Nye, on the other hand, says, well, if there was just evidence that evolution wasn't true, if there was just evidence that these things were false, then I would change my mind immediately. And that, I think, is what separates skeptics from creationists and why I can't really take their arguments seriously. You see, a creationist starts with the conclusion that the Bible is correct and retroactively builds their worldview around said conclusion. Because the Bible is true and a literal reading of the Bible contradicts evolution, the Bible must be right, right? Well, no. You see, there's an overwhelming amount of evidence that evolution is true. From the fossil records, to DNA records, to the similarities among species, to evidence of a common ancestor in both our genetic makeup and the makeup of fossils in the earth, there's really nothing you can do to dispute evolution any more than you can dispute, say, the heliocentric theory of the earth. But a creationist won't accept that, because evolution contradicts the Bible. When presenting their ideas to the scientific community are scorned and laughed at. And they think, instead of it being because they have bad ideas, it's because there's some sort of deliberate conspiracy to suppress creationism. Or the flaws of evolution are so obvious that everyone is just too afraid to say them. Well, this is just basically nothing more than a conspiracy theory. The idea that the scientific community discourages dissent is completely wrong. Science welcomes dissent. Science wants to be proven wrong. The good thing about science in the words of, I can't, actually can't remember who said it, but uh, science is important because, not because it's flawless, but because it fails forward. That's an operative word, failing forward. Scientists will freely admit that they don't have the answer to everything. Creationists will look at this uncertainty and see weakness, where it's really just honesty. You see, creationists are not being honest. They don't have the answers to the origins of the universe. They just think they do. And because there's such a small amount of evidence to support their faith, they have to deny the overwhelming amount of evidence that supports evolution. Because, as I said, they start with a conclusion and work backwards. And that's why I don't argue with creationists anymore. There's just simply no point. They basically say that they will never change their minds. The vast majority of them do anyways. Because, for them, creationism is inexorably tied to religion. 
There's very few creationists out there who also don't happen to believe in a god, usually the Abrahamic god, and that's not a coincidence. Creationism does not exist as a legitimate alternative to evolution. It exists to reinforce an already previously existing worldview and deny anything that contradicts it. So I can't debate with these people because they're not willing to have their minds changed. I mean, what's the point of arguing with somebody who's basically says from the get-go, you'll never change my mind? It's an exercise in futility. It's meaningless. And you do nothing but frustrate yourself. And that's why I think creationists are not worthy of debate. And while Bill Nye's informative discussion with Ken Ham was very interesting and very worthwhile, it was kind of doomed from the start because Ken Ham is never going to change his mind, no matter what evidence you present to him. Just like pretty much any other creationist out there. Thanks for listening. Andrew Walker out.